Guys, I've done it. I've cracked the code on predicting French Bulldog litter colors with 100% accuracy. Breeders, you don't want to miss this. Did you know that it doesn't have to be a secret to know exactly what your pregnant dog will throw and what kinds of DNA each individual puppy will have? Well, there is a method to accurately predicting just what your litter will look like without fail. So please stick around for this entire video and please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my page as we crack the code to unveiling the secret sauce it takes to make this happen for you and your litter. What's up guys? I'm Aaron with Laurent Frenchies and understanding the genetics behind French Bulldog coat colors is crucial for breeders. It not only helps them anticipate the possible outcomes of a litter, but also ensures responsible breeding practices because it requires a full DNA profile on your French Bulldog. So let's unravel the mystery behind predicting these furry bundles of joy's coat colors. Breeders often face the challenge of predicting the potential colors of a French Bulldog litter. With various coat color possibilities and genetic complexities at play, it can be a daunting task to foresee the exact outcomes. However, with the right knowledge and guidance, this process can become much more manageable. This not only helps ensure that all of your puppies will be born free of genetic disorders, but also helps you price the puppies correctly and keep the market on them stable. To predict French Bulldog litter colors, we need to delve into the basics of coat color genetics. I'm not going to go into great detail about this in this video because I've done previous videos about that with much more detail, so you'll definitely want to check those out by clicking the link above. To put it simply, French Bulldogs inherit genes from their parents with dominant and recessive genes playing a significant role in determining their coat colors. By understanding how these genes interact and express themselves, breeders can make educated predictions about the possible color outcomes of a litter. Now let's put this into practice and give you all an understanding of just how to do this. Step number one is having a full DNA profile on both French Bulldogs involved in the breeding. It will be a huge help to you if you click the link above and watch my video all about coat colors and textures in 2024 that French Bulldogs can throw and the genetics behind it before continuing. We are going to utilize the DNA profiles of both parents plus the knowledge you've gained from watching my previous videos as well as Punnett squares to help us with our projections. Sorry guys, this is going to take a little math, but I promise you it's worth it as it will give you a real life example of just how important this could be to you at the end of the video. I get questions all the time about how to create this combination or that combination in their puppies. Honestly, there is only so much you can do if you don't have the right DNA to start with. You can obtain this DNA one of two ways. You can buy your way in by purchasing a puppy that has the genetics you need to create those combinations, or you can pay a stud fee to create offspring that have the DNA you need. Even when paying a stud fee, you may not be able to completely realize the vision you have for one or two more generations with careful and specific breeding practices. For example, before this next litter I have coming up in a few weeks, I didn't have Rojo in the bloodline of any of my dogs. Instead of buying my way into that DNA, I decided to use a stud that could deliver on Big Rope, Velvet, and a copy of Rojo so it will require a full DNA test on the entire litter for me to pick the female that I will be keeping from it. This offspring, bred with the right stud, will be able to produce the entire gambit. This includes New Shade Isabella, Merle, Visual Fluffies, Big Ropes, and Velvets. Well, how can this be? Let's get into it now. So here's the DNA of my current female who will be dropping a litter in less than two weeks. As you can see, she is Lilac Merle with tan points that carries Fluffy. She is bred to a stud that is a Pied Lilac with tan points that carries one copy of Cream and one copy of Rojo. There is currently no genetic test for Big Rope in French Bulldogs, so the key indicator here is looking at the muzzle, and as you can see, he is in fact a Big Rope. Let's break this down into Punnett squares to see the potential outcome of each gene to figure out which puppy I will keep from this litter. We are only dealing with the DNA that at least one dog possesses at least one copy of, so let's go right down the line here. Tan points. Because both parents have two copies of tan points, read as little AT, little AT, there is a 100% chance that each puppy will have tan points, although most of this may be covered if they get the Murrow gene from their mother. Rojo. As you can see, the mother doesn't carry a copy of Rojo, so any puppy that carries Rojo will get the one copy from the dad. As we put this allele in a Punnett square, you can see that each puppy has a 50% chance of carrying one copy of Rojo. Coco. As you can see, both parents carry two copies of Coco, read as little CO, little CO. This means there is a 100% chance that each puppy will also carry two copies of Coco. Dilute. Because both parents have two copies of the Dilute gene, read as little D, little D, there is also a 100% chance that each puppy will carry two copies of the Dilute gene as well. This also means that because each puppy will have two copies of Tan Points, two copies of Coco, and two copies of Dilute, they will all be Lilacs with Tan Points unless they get the Murrow gene from their mother. Pied. 
The mother doesn't possess Pied while the dad has one copy of Pied, giving the puppies a 50% chance of carrying one copy of Pied, which will show as white spotting, usually in the chest or the paws. Cream. The mother doesn't possess any cream genetics while the sire has one copy of cream, red is big E-M, little E. Placing this on the punish square, it gives each puppy a 50% chance of having one copy of cream, making them a cream carrier. Fluffy. Each parent carries one copy of the long fur allele, red as big L, little L4. Placing this on a punish square, you can see that each puppy has a 25% chance of not carrying the long fur allele, a 50% chance of getting one copy of L4, making them a fluffy carrier, and a 25% chance of being a visual fluffy by carrying two copies of the L4 gene. Merle. Because the mother has one copy of Merle read as big M, little N, and the sire doesn't carry any Merle genetics, we can place them appropriately on the Punnett square to figure out the probability of each puppy being Merle. As you can see, each puppy has a 50% chance of being Merle. One of the most important pieces of this is knowing for a fact that all parents are clean of any genetic defects that can be tested in their DNA. So there is a 100% chance that each puppy will also be free from any genetic defects. Ideally, I would like to keep a female that is a full fluffy lilac merle with tan points that carries one copy of cream and one copy of rojo. It doesn't matter to me if they also carry one copy of pied or not. There is no current test for big rope in French Bulldogs, so I would have to wait and see on that one, but I would like for her to have the big rope snout as well. For the sake of the math, I will leave this one out of the calculation. So the calculation goes as follows to find the probability that my ideal puppy will be realized in this litter. Tan points 100%. Dilute 100%, Coco 100%, Merle 50%, Visual Fluffy 25%, Cream Carrier 50%, Rojo Carrier 50%, Pied 50%. Convert each allele percentage probability to a fraction and then multiply the fractions together to get the probability of getting the exact puppy I want. In this case, there are eight different genetic alleles, meaning that I have a 1.5625% chance of each puppy having the exact combination I want. If you want to throw in the fact that I want this puppy to be a female, then I actually have a 0.78125% chance of that happening. This puppy will give me the opportunity to breed her with a stud that already has cream and rojo in their DNA, and they can produce a true rainbow of colors. We will compare notes from this video when the litter is actually born and the DNA tested, so you will see just how important and accurate this is to knowing exactly what you will throw. Yes, you can enter all of these into the Color My Frenchie app, which is a great tool and resource for breeders, but I'm a little old school here. I don't believe in using tools unless I know the process to get to the same answer as the tool. In other words, I would never teach my children to use calculators without first already being strong in math. The calculator is a tool to help check their answer, not to give them the answer. The key moment for breeders comes when they can confidently predict the potential outcomes of litters based on the parental genetics. By analyzing the genetic makeup of the parent dogs and considering the probabilities of gene combinations, breeders can anticipate the range of colors that the puppies may inherit. This knowledge empowers breeders to make informed decisions and plan for the future of their breeding programs and gives them the credibility necessary for sustainable growth. To sum all of this up, the colors of French Bulldog litters are not random, but rather a result of complex genetic interactions. By grasping the fundamentals of coat color genetics and applying this knowledge in their breeding practices, breeders can enhance the quality and predictability of their litters. Remember, genetic understanding is key to successful breeding and ensuring the health and well-being of these beloved dogs. I encourage you to explore more breeding tips and tricks on our channel to further enhance your breeding knowledge. Feel free to share your own experiences and insights in the comments below. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more valuable content. Happy breeding and see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.